Like my last video, I decided to experiment with creating artificial intelligence and neural networks. I've always wanted to let an artificial intelligence learn how to play games, so I decided to let it play Flappy Bird. Flappy Bird is a very simple game about avoiding obstacles and the only output is to flap, so it is very simple for the AI to control. The network is also fed certain inputs like the distance to the next set of pipes and the distance to the top and bottom of the next pipes. Also, if you haven't seen my other video on neural networks, I'm going to explain them right now. If you already know how they work, you can go to the time on the screen now to skip to development. Artificial networks are machines that learn how to complete certain tasks over time by learning and mutating. In my case, the neural network will be teaching an AI how to do things in-game. Basically, neural networks are comprised of a series of numbers, called neurons. These neurons are divided into layers, with one input layer, one output layer, and many hidden layers between those. All the neurons in each layer are connected by synapses to the next layer. These synapses have one job, and that is to multiply the value it gets by a certain weight, or number, and pass it along. These weights are the things that change and evolve over time. Before I could even begin implementing the neural network, I needed to code the game. I started with the bird, giving it simple physics and a flat mechanic. I also decided to have the environment move instead of the bird. This way, there is less physics acting on the bird, so there is more predictability and less randomness. I had the pipes move left, and once they hit this invisible barrier, they teleport back to the right side. Some code randomizes the height within this range, so the obstacles are constantly changing. Also, to keep the player in the game area, I added a ceiling and floor. Now I have a perfect plain clone of Flappy Bird, and with a little pixel art, I made it look a lot nicer and close to the original too. So far, Flappy Bird is only getting controlled by me, and I'm pretty bad at it, so let's start coding the AI to play it for me. I fed in all the inputs as I said before, such as the distance to the next set of pipes, and the distance to the top and bottom of the opening. Then I let it call a function called flap, which just has a single normal flap. Just having this won't do anything, so I made a float called should flap, then an if statement checking if this float is larger than 0.5. I also made a cooldown so it can't constantly flap. I set should flap equal to the single output of the neural network, and then finally I had the if statement called the flap function. This means in the end, I had five inputs, two sets of six hidden nodes, and one output. This output then changes whether the AR was flapping or not. Easy as that. Before we see how it performs, there's a feature I want to implement. I wanted this to be in the last neural network simulation, but it proved too difficult, so I had to spend an extra week before it was actually done. What I'm talking about is a visual representation of the network's weight values. This is much more basic than it sounds, it just shows on screen what the AI's brain looks like. I got this idea from creators like Codebullet and Seth Blank, who always show the network evolving over time with a visual representation. In the end, what I wanted to do is have a synapse for each of the weights, which are connecting all the neurons. Then, during each generation, the best bird's neural network will be displayed. Talking about being displayed, I haven't told you yet how the weights are being represented. Each weight can be a value between negative 1 and 1. If the value is negative, then the synapse will be blue, and if it is positive, then it will be red. The width will then scale depending on the absolute value of the weight. What I spent the most time developing on this was how to access the synapses and connect them to the correct weights. I tried multiple ways with lists, arrays, multi-layer arrays, and more. The reason this proved difficult is that weights in neural networks are sorted into three-dimensional arrays. And I'm actually kind of new to using those. Once I figured out a good way to do it though, I created all the synapses as lines and dragged them into the script. Also, as a final touch, I made the last neuron change color every time its value is above the flap threshold, since it is the neuron that controls flapping. That way, you can clearly see every time the bird decides to flap. I want to see the results just as much as you do, but first, look at this number. How could only this many of you people be subscribed to me? Seriously though, subscribing does help out my channel a lot, and if by the end of this video you enjoyed it, I would really appreciate a like. Okay, it's time lapse time.
Wow, now those are some interesting results. Okay, no, they weren't, but it was really fun to code this neural network to play a real game. Who knows, this bird could someday be playing GTA. If you want to see something, comment down below. Until next time.